Hi, <clears throat> it's Donna Mulholland. How is everybody today? I decided for some crazy reason, it's a holiday uh, here in Canada. It's Victoria, Victoria's Day or uh, Victoria Day or um, the Queen's birthday. Um, and I started this piece yesterday. I wanted to try something uh, a bit different and I don't like it at all. So I thought for fun, I would try to do something else with it um, on live Instagram today. Now I'm trying to remember which side. Hello, hello, I can see a few people. I'm trying to decide which side <laughs> my camera is on. I think it's here. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so yeah. So my paintings are usually layered anyway, so it's not really, this is not that unusual. This is a piece on paper, um, and so I want to do something with it today, just for fun. I'm going to mostly just kind of paint, so, because I don't have a, a real intention for this piece, as I sometimes do. I think I'll do it like this. I can turn this around, but it makes it too low, so, for the camera, so that's why I'm doing it like that. I think I'd rather have it right in the middle. Uh, I think that's pretty good. There. Can you see all of that? Yeah, you can. So it was a piece with um, blues, purples, uh, green, and red. And I was trying to do shapes with hard edges. But um, shapes with hard edges aren't really my thing. Let me see if I can uh, fix the lighting a bit. And I don't have any makeup on either. I'm just doing this kind of spur of the moment. So I'm going to start with um, some blue. I'm just going to see if I can. I tend to be more of a flow, uh, what's the word, flowy painter. I'm going to add some blues to this. I might keep this area sort of as um, a focal spot area. I might do that because I do kind of like that. I want some yellow and I've got my paint on the wrong side so I may be kind of crossing your path and I apologize for that. <clears throat> and I'm using mostly a Nova color paint today. It's my favorite. I also like golden mm -hmm. and I like chroma as well. So I've got some Indian yellow, which is one of my favorite colors for making uh, nifty greens. Maybe I'll use some different shapes. I want to leave some of the color from the first layer there for sure. Maybe even add some. Part of where this came from, I'm going to switch my brush from flat to around, is at the start of the year, maybe even in December, I got very keen on uh, adding more shapes to my work. And I've been sort of working on that a little bit. So they were a little bit less flowy and more shapes. And I guess it turns out I really like I really like kind of square shapes. And I probably like circles too. Let's add a few of those. And I don't really care how many layers this has. I just want it to be interesting. And I'm liking it better already, to be honest. And all I've used is a, so far is a phthalo turquoise and an Indian yellow and uh, white. And 
make some different shapes. I like a little more of the blue, I think. I do love phthalo turquoise more than uh, the yellow. I'm not a huge fan of ultramarine. This brush is really a bit small. I'm going to change it in a minute. Yeah. I need a bigger flat brush. Yeah, this will do. Flat brush. Hello. I'm not going to be really checking the comments too often. This is just a spur of the moment thing. But hello to Lizette, to Robin, uh, and the other people. Thanks for the waves. I guess I can wave back. There we are. <laughs> so let's get back to this. I think I'd like a, another color blue too. I do want a more ultramarine blue actually after just saying I don't like it. It's actually, it's actually not ultramarine blue. It's phthalo blue deep from Nova, but it's very bluey. It's not uh, tealy or turquoisey at all. It's bluey. Put that on here. I want this to be kind of blue. And a little more white. There we go. That's better. Getting rid of. It's funny. I I like the hard edges of. Uh, shapes but I just didn't like the hard edges of these shapes I didn't like it at all but I am starting to like it better now and I want a bit of blue up here yeah I am kind of flowy but I want to leave some of the underlying colors there I don't like this. Let's and you know, part of the fun of the painting is, of course, wondering if it will work out or not. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. I just want to get some paint on here. It's really important to uh, sometimes just play. Sometimes we have an uh, uh, more. Sometimes I have a more. What's the word? Definite intention to what I'm doing, but I really don't for this. This is just. It's a long weekend. I feel like getting some paint on here. I feel like using my fingers a bit now. Let's try some yellow. Maybe these are like little flower petals blowing in the wind this time of year. This is an odd looking place. Let's put some up here. I could use some uh, glazing gel to keep this uh, paint kind of alive a little longer, but it's quite all right for this. For me today, I'm fine with this. Just playing, seeing what will happen. I 
I want this little, hmm, I want to do something. I think I need a little bit of uh, pink, maybe. Let's see. This is one of my favorite colors, Quinn Magenta from Nova. I don't, um, that's what it looks like plain. I don't like it plain as much as uh, I love it when it's mixed. Mm -hmm. It makes a lovely pink. I'll show you here. Okay, there's some white. See how lovely that is? I can make it. It also makes lovely purples. Well, I want, I don't want this red quite so strong there. Or there. Well, I could add a bit of a, uh, make a little glaze of, that's Indian yellow, to cover some of these reds a bit, so that I want the reddest red really about right here, which is the focal point. And I didn't like what I did there, so what I'm going to do is... I just got a paper towel and I'm going to... Yeah, I like that. There you go. That looks good. And let's... Yeah, I like that. I'm so in love with this color green at this time of year. And I think I'll use a little bit of the magenta, <laughs> sorry. Um, I want to darken this up a little bit. So that most of my real red is going to be here. Add a little pink to that. Yeah, that's good. Although, this looks the most, this actually seems to pop a bit more, so I need to do something with that. I think I need actual red now, which is where, there it is. My favorite red of all is uh, py pyro red. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but. This dries pretty quick. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> this looks like a face, which I didn't. I did have one teacher, which uh, teacher who said um, that the best abstracts have a. You should be able to see a face in it somewhere. I'm not sure if she was 100% serious or not, but. Okay, that's not bad. It's coming. It's coming. It's got a bit of flow from the bottom to the top, and we need something else here. Uh, maybe some white. It's usually best not to think too much, I find. So I probably want to have the most detail at this part. I do like this pink. Maybe get rid of some of the red a bit with the pink. Get rid of that face. I'm liking it better. This still needs something to, I don't want it to pop out quite as much as it does. So let's add maybe a bit more green to that. And maybe blue. I don't love that. Mm -hmm. There we go. 
I just didn't didn't like that part showing up so much. I still don't love it, but I'm gonna stand back and look at it for a minute. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit of orange would be nice. Or not. We'll find out. I don't love that orange though. Let's see what we can get here. <laughs> Maybe a bit of finger here to kind of soften these areas a bit. Maybe what I'll do is turn it around. That might help. It was originally like this. Actually, I kind of like it like that, to be honest. Let's, and that's the way I've been painting it. I don't like that way. That's all right. But I am... Um, Let's do it this way. So I need some more blue, I think. Of the bluey blue, not the turquoise blue. This is what I want. I want this blue. The kind of, yeah. There we go. I want that blue. More of that blue. And I like to have lots of variation of color. I still like this, but I'm still not 100% happy with it. I think I need a bigger brush. I think that's my problem. So here's quite a big one. And I want something here. There we go, that's better. That's better. And then I like it. <laughs> That's what it needed. And sometimes instead of getting more fiddly, what you need is more uh, is bigger. So all I think I need is maybe this is the dark blue. And I like to just bring it around a little bit, so there's just a little bit here and there. I like that little tiny bit of white. I have to be careful here, I'll get a little too. I'm going to leave it right there. Because <laughs> I have the urge to be... Maybe though I could. Yeah, get a few scratchy marks in it. That makes it more interesting. Okay, I like it. 
I like it way better than where it was. The question is, do I like it better like this? Do you like it better like this? Or do you like it better like that? I think I kind of like it like that. <laughs> so thanks for watching this morning. Um, thanks, I can see a wave. Um, that's all I'm going to do. It was just a quickie. I took a painting that I really hated and I let myself use my own intuition and um, colors to make it into something I actually really like. So, But it's still worthwhile. It's always worthwhile, I think, to try different things um, and then kind of make them your own. So I wish you a marvelous day and I'm going to turn this off. So thank you very much for watching.